hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and today i am going to show you how you can create a child theme in wordpress so let me open my local site first let me log in and I will go to the themes okay let me delete this child theme first because I am going to create the child theme for this 2020 theme now why we need to create a child theme so for example you have this theme 2020 and you want to do some custom work in this theme like whatever work for example you don't like the title displaying over here so you want title to display somewhere else so if you if you change the code in this main main theme then when this theme has an update and if you update the theme your code will be gone so in that uh, case our child theme will be very helpful so child theme will um, adapt the layout and functionality of the parent theme without affecting the code of the parent theme so whatever you want to do any custom work you can do that in your child theme so that's why we have to create a child theme now let's try to build a simple child theme and in this case we are going to build a child theme of 2020 theme So let me open my blog. I have already written a blog regarding how to create a child theme. So I will go to my blog site that's pargob.wordpress.com. I will search create a child theme and this is the blog I have written create child theme in wordpress so i have provided steps and these are very simple steps so this blog seems a long to you but when you start implementing that's not this much long so that's why i'm creating a video like if you don't like to read the whole bunch of stuff then you can watch the video so that you see how easy it is so let's start with step one select any theme we will call that theme as a parent theme so in our case we have select we have selected 2020 step one was pretty simple now create folder for child theme at themes folder and the name should be the th parent themes folder name dash child so this is my wordpress local repository and i am going into wp content themes here i am going to create a new folder so this is the parent theme folder name 2020 so we will give it name 20 20 child so this was the step 2 now moving to step 3 
create a style sheet file and give it name as a style.css so step 3 is to create a new file and we will save this file as styles.css this is necessary you need to give this file name as styles.css I'm sorry style.css so I will rename this and copy some lines from the parent theme style.css and those line will be look like this so now in other tab we will open parent themes style.css now copy this comment and paste it over here and remove some unnecessary stuff so I will remove this unnecessary thing I will give this theme to version 1.0 because this is a brand new theme <coughs> I will remove this tags let me break this I will remove this description and I will add my own description so step 3 is done now moving to step 4 which is the most important step so what you need to do in this step so you have to add this new line into this uh, comment so everything will handle from this comment now I will rename this theme name to 2020 child I will I will keep text domain as it is we will learn what the text domain is in the next tutorials and uh, yeah if you want to change the author name I will give it to my name I will change this author URI to my blog URI and uh, I will keep other things as it is so how we added this template name 2020 how we decided so we have par we have, we are making a child theme of 2020 theme which is this so template name should be the folder name of the parent theme it should be always the folder name of the parent theme so in our case 2020 is the parent theme that's why we added template as a 2020 in your case your theme will be different so you would enter your uh, whatever your theme is you would enter that themes folder name so this is the main part by defining this you are telling wordpress that this is the child theme of 2020 step 4 is done now before uh, adding before executing the step 5 let's go to this theme section and let's see if our theme is here or not
so as you can see uh, our theme start displaying over here now I am going to activate our child theme and we will see what happens so now our child theme is activated and I will refresh this home page so currently this is uh, looking like this because we haven't really connect our child theme to parent theme and that is the step number five so in the step number five create a new file and give the name it functions.php so in this child theme I am going to create a new file and I will save this file as functions.php and now I am going to copy this code and I will paste it over here now let's see what happens after this code is added then I will explain what is going on with this code so now I am going to refresh this page and see your child theme adapted the parent themes functionality and layout so by adding this code we connected our child theme to parent theme <coughs> sorry now let's uh, try to understand what's going on with this uh, function so we have and added some styles in this function this is the action for adding scripts and styles so in this uh, action we have added a function and in that function we are enqueuing the style so in this first uh, section of code we have included parent themes style dot css so that's why it it has adapted the parent themes um, styling so we used wp nq style for in enqueuing the styles from the parent theme and same same way on the other section of the code we have added the current themes style using this function so this is this is the function in wordpress to enqueue any style to the theme or the site and we use that function to connect a parent theme to child theme now <coughs> your child theme is created and now the last step which is not necessary but it would create if you add uh, this step in your child theme so the step 6 is add a screenshot.png why you want to add the screenshot.png because in the backend it would help you to identify the which themes child theme is this so i will add the same screenshot as the parent theme so i will go to my repo themes 2020 copy and i will paste 
now I will refresh so as you can see there is a screenshot for your child theme you can put whatever screenshot you want to put uh, but the name should be this screenshot.png remember the exam uh, extension should be PNG so this is how you can create a child theme in WordPress and uh, these three files are necessary to start building your child theme so this is the video guys uh, if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section and uh, I will I will provide this link into the comment section and if you want to uh, have this child theme then I have added this report to the github you can go to the github try to search my name so this is my github account and this is the child theme we have just created I have added it on the github so I will provide this uh, URL as well into the description section thanks for watching the video guys